Clouds leave no uh, no trace. Shall we see the new story quest? I'm hoping it's good. This is what I was most excited for. I'm not sure if there's even going to be a new main story quest for this patch. I'm pretty sure there's not. But uh, I've heard nothing but good things. Which is very nice. Oh, Pom Pom. Huh? Trailblazer, do you need help with something? No, I'm okay. Do you have depression today, Pom Pom, or are you feeling better? You're looking extra fat today, buddy. Just like me. Pom Pom's been cleaning up this whole time and didn't see any letters. I just read one, bro. What are you talking about? What do you What do you mean? This is creepy, bro. What? Don't scare Pom Pom like that. <sighs> Why are there always strange things sneaking onto our train? Pom Pom is going to upgrade the security level around here. Good call, Pom Pom. And why don't you go on a diet there, buddy? What does the letter say? It says you're fat. <laughs> okay, I need to chill. <laughs> I need to chill. It looks like an invitation. Uh -huh. Hmm. Who could have sent it? Does Don Hong have any friends on the Law Fu? If Pom Pom remembers correctly, he said he was exiled from there. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's what he said. Wait, friends? Don Hung have friends? Hell no, bro. Who the hell would want to do that? Unlikely. Bro is miserable. If the general sent the letter, he would have signed it. That's true. He barely gets any recognition from the bottom of the tier list, so he probably would have put his name on there. That way somebody would actually say his name correctly and not just say Min Yuan. Why don't you show Don Hong the letter? You know where to find him. Oh, God. I got to talk to him again. He's so depressing, man. Oh, Don. Okay, here we go, man. Here we go. Are you still waddling in your in your own self-filth after getting power crept by Jing Liu? I know it truly is a depressing state, isn't it, Don Hung? Yo. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Do you need something? Yeah. Here's a letter, man. Read it out loud because I skipped it earlier. <laughs> There's no signature. <laughs> and it doesn't mention a time or place. Damn. <laughs> Looks like whoever sent this expects me to remember. It's Jing Liu. Unfortunately, I'm going to disappoint them. I know, bro. Your older brother and Bibiter man? Eh, nobody even looks at you. I can't even remember the last time I saw somebody on stream use a regular Don Hung. Why so serious? Huh? Oh, I'm... Just thinking. L? Ooh, cool. Let me hold on to the letter. Anything related to Don Fung's past should be handled with care. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. This music in the background really does not fit the fit the mood of this quest. <laughs> it really does not fit the mood at all. <laughs> <laughs> Don Hung's in his room crying. Wait, that's Blade. The appearance of the letter makes you feel uneasy. You evoke the cloud him, and the droplet of water condenses from the air and soaks into the letter. The handwriting disappears, and another line of writing blurs into the water stain. Of five people, three must pay a price. Just as I thought, there was more than met the eye. Letting her leave first was a wise choice. Yep. I can't put her in danger again because of this. Do you know what out of five people, three people must pay a price means, chat? That means for every two free-to-play players, three whales have to exist to counterbalance the amount of funds they're stealing from Hoyo versus Wallace. But if he didn't send the letter, then who did? Jing Liu, hmm. our sussy queen. Maybe I should make a trip to the seat of divine foresight. I need to ask Jing Yuan about the Stellaron hunters. All right, let's go. Oh, man, we get to fight, baby. Team must include Jing Liu. Well, here's the crazy thing, Bubby. I don't need the trial, Jing Liu. Imagine that. Pela. Hey, hey, don't need, the, don't need the trial one. Trial one better? No, they ain't. Mine's better, because it's mine. Yo. God After damn, she's, she's beautiful. After away from the Lafu, the seat of divine foresight has only become more hostile. 
It's quite reassuring. Bro, I wish Jing Liu would just press E right now and activate her talent. Cut her in half. Relax. You needn't be so cautious, young man. Young man! I'm just reminiscing about the old days. Gordon Ramsay has a word for you. However, I never thought Jing Yuan would send you to accompany me. <laughs> it would seem our fates are intertwined. Dude, the voice acting is fantastic. Huh? Oh, damn. Yang Jing, after two minutes, is his first dialogue option. Oh, Don, Don, Don. What do you want, man? Jing Liu looking at the two characters <sighs> in the face when she just power crept. Damn, damn, damn. Let's fight. Let's get it going, baby. Well, if it isn't Don Hung. Yo. Greetings. Greetings. I need to speak to the general about something. <laughs> looking for compensation for the injuries I gave you? Okay, dude. I dad. accept full responsibility. What? They can deduct my next hundred years salary if they like. W what injuries, bro? I whoop your ass. <laughs> that won't be necessary. The Cloud Knights were doing their duty. I should be apologizing for any damage I caused myself. You came at a bad time. The general is busy with urgent work. You probably won't be able to meet with him today. But he did leave a message. Don Hung. Do you recognize the person on the steps? Who? No, I who's that? can't say that I know her. Oh, Jing Liu? But she does look a little familiar. Is she a Have they not the met? Generals? I thought they met. You don't remember her? I see. I suppose the memories of your previous life really were wiped clean after the rebirth. Yeah, or I'm just lying. <laughs> you know? Or Don Hung is just bullshitting. That is Jing Liu, the previous sword champion of the Xianzhou La Fu. She was the closest friend of Imbibitor Lun A, your previous incarnation. So sick. She was also the general's master. My god. Well, just wait until Air Edition gets a new artifact set, then we'll see. According to records of wars past, her blade has slain countless denizens of abundance. Not even the feather guards of the Wing Weaver. The father wolf of the Borison, with a gigantic mecha beast, could withstand a single strike from her. She's a renowned legend. Jesus, bro. She is slorping her dick. However, those are ancient stories. It's a shame that even a hero like her wasn't able to break free of Mara. It is said that in the end, Jing Liu lost her sanity and slaughtered anyone in sight. She was deemed a criminal. And fled to outer worlds. Oh no! With her powers, you'd think there would be no one capable of bringing her in. <sighs> For some reason, she arrived on the Lawfu with a suspect disguised as a traveling merchant. And so she wanted to turn herself in. Really? Her surrender came with one condition that she be allowed a day of freedom before the trial. <laughs> My face when she, she lies. She to travel to Scale Gorge Waterscape and meet with her old friends one last time. What? I can't believe Jing Yuan actually agreed. No way. Before he left, he ordered us to accompany Jing Liu during her last day on the La Fu. We're hosting an honored guest. We're escorting a criminal. What? Since you suddenly stops talking like, like her, you received a chill sitting in the air around you. Wait, did we think there's any way that Luocha cured her Mara struckedness and has cured her? Imbibitor Lune, you're here. Yeah. Since you traveled all this way, why don't you come and talk with me? She's so sick. <laughs> Or should I call you by your name in this lifetime, Don Hung? Bro, look goofy as f with the blindfold on. I'm gonna say it, bro. Bro, for her debut line, you think you could have lip synced it like you did for Don Hung earlier? I'll say it. Hey, what up, baby? Hey, boys are back in town, homie. Yo. When I left the Sienjo, yeah, I heard they took away your scales and horns, forced you into a hatching rebirth, yep. 
and detained you in the Shackling prison. Yep, look what they did to my boy. I thought Imbibitor Lune had been wiped from this world. But then I returned to the Lafu and watched as you parted the sea. <laughs> yeah, did you hear the song that played in the After background? All these years, that shit was sick, right? It was a magnificent sight to Did you hear that dude singing that? Did we know each other? Yeah. Oh, that's his ex-girlfriend, isn't it? <laughs> the answer to that is both yes and no. However, your cold and indifferent tone is identical to the person I knew back then. Oh my god, they're scorned lovers. If my guess is correct, the preceptors were unwilling to allow the i line to end and hoped for the Imbibitor Lunae's resurrection. That is why they tampered with the Molten Rebirth and turned you into what you are now. Bro is gasping for air on every dialogue option. Bro, Jing Liu has asthma. One million percent. <laughs> you're not here to reminisce on old times. Tell me why you're here. To seek the Holy Grail. Here, that Vidyatara girl explained it clear as day. I returned to the Law Fu so I could surrender myself to the Alliance and atone for my sins. I did, however, have one request before the trial. Fun button. I asked to be given a single day to go and see old friends. They're all dead. And to fulfill promises. I all made these old friends are dead, bro. Ago. They're gone. Kaput. <laughs> Jing Yuan has always been an understanding person. He heard that you would be coming and agreed to my request. God, her voice is so, so hot. You're the one that mailed the letter to the express. Yeah, do you like that? <laughs> That's right. Oh my God. So if she that old, then her pussy must be all dried up. Bro, what are the you sea's talking about? Depths conceal no what? stone, and dragon's breaths reveal the moon. The scenery of Scale Gorge waterscape is truly as magnificent as the poems describe. Dude, this guy's voice actor was so but sick in real life to me. Shouldn't I be bound and interrogated in the shackling prison? Is it really appropriate to bring me to a place like this, General? It's not. Holding you in the so cool. God, I love Luocha. For security purposes, we will be performing your trial here. Sick. <laughs> For security purposes, I suppose it's not my security you're talking about. Nah, Jing Yuan hits for two damage, the bro. The Stellaron's descent, the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection, the Destruction Emanator's impersonation of the Anakath. Such a cool level. According to the Skyfaring Commission's investigations, you arrived on the La Fu with a group of merchants. Yes, sir! But didn't make a single trade during your stay. <sighs> your departure coincided with the day the calamities took place. Yeah, where's Ting Yun? You took advantage of the chaos to sneak into the Shackling prison, but seemingly took no course of action. Now you claim that you are responsible for the Stellaron crisis and wish to surrender yourself. Your behavior truly is puzzling. I can't seem to piece together your motive. Just have a little I bit of fun. I was asked to deliver a token in my capacity as a traveling merchant. I knew nothing of its significance. I admit I did have my own agenda for entering the Shackling prison, but in the end, I found that the law food did not possess what I was looking for. It is through fear of punishment that I am choosing to surrender. The galaxy is- Am I crazy or is Luocha the coolest? I am merely a wanderer. It would be silly of me to think that I could outrun the- Oh lines. God, we don't need another Skarmouche, bro. Merely a wanderer. <laughs> You're too modest, Locha. Do I need to remind you of your actions at the Eternity Fortress? And the Shroud Veil vale Star Zone? Or must I utter that tongue twister of a name? Huh? 
What tongue twister of a name? I. <laughs> well, they don't call you the divine foresight for nothing, General. You Wait, auto apocalypse? Fortunately, I did my research. That's the tongue twister well, this name. This conversation would have been quite dry. Seeing that you sense something is amiss, are you looking to defend me and clear my name of suspicion? Yes, sir. Woo! That is beyond my control. Attempting to undermine the alliance is a grave crime. Colin Kislata. Protocol. Auto apocalypse. The Sien Zhou Shu Ling for a What's going on here? Before the Ten Lords Commission and the Seven Arbiter Generals. Sounds like one of these guys is a sussy baka. However, at present, you have the opportunity to enjoy the beautiful scenery of Scale Gorge Waterscape. It will be the last view of the Law Fu you ever lay eyes on. I mean, on. it's a pretty good view, to be honest. It's pretty damn nice. She told me that the High Cloud Quintet once gathered and feasted here hundreds of years ago. The unparalleled sword techniques of your master, yep. the mesmerizing cloud hymn magic of Imbibitor Lune Dan Feng, yep. the artful piloting skills of Bai Hung, the divine weapons crafted by the Ju Ming artisan Ying. Imagine Luo just not even out of apocalypse. Stratagem of the general. Can you imagine that? The five of you. He's just a random dude that looks similar. World, creating legendary tales. And Weld and Jing Yuan are just like racist. Unfortunately, nothing lasts forever, and the High Cloud Quintet. All blondes look alike. As each of you went your separate ways. You removed me from the shackling prison and decided to interrogate me here. But not for security purposes. You wish to discuss things that shouldn't be overheard. Like what? You wish to discuss the one person you've avoided mentioning up to now. That's right. Your master, Jing Liu. Yeah, she's in my backpack, bro. She's in she's in my backpack. Oh, shit. We can head out now. Mm. Wait, show them I finishing the damn conversation, bro. A few places from my memories. Enjoy a glass of wine. And reminisce about the good times. <laughs> Have you mistaken yourself for a tourist? <laughs> I would make a wonderful tourist. Oh, you can't be mean to her. She's pretty, bro. So she killed a couple thousand people. She's pretty, bro. Come on. Guard, young man. I have already surrendered myself to the alliance, and I will keep my word. Besides, your general has already agreed to my request. In Bibiter Lune, you must accompany me. I won't take no for an answer. No, I'm good. Regardless of whether you're still interested in your previous life. Accepting my letter means that you've accepted my invitation. That's not how this shit works, you psycho ex-girlfriend. Lead the way. What the hell? That is not how that works. Am I nuts? Where should we start? Should we go to Stargazer Navalia we go first, bowling? Or to the Artisanship Commission? Let's go bowling, please. So many memories are swirling inside my head. I can't get a grasp on any of them. Damn, bro. She has dementia too. That's nuts. When the people of the Sienjo live, I can't wait to kill her in the story quest. Thousand class. years old. Each day is like carrying the weight of a mountain. I'm gonna kill this bitch. Interminable maze. Bro, Jingliu's oh, trash. Shut her up. Hey, man. Yo, guys, say yo to the guy who uh, lost the fifty-fifty. Problem solved. <laughs> The young are the antidote. Stargazer Navalia, it is. Yup. I'm ready, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, if it's Star's gifts you wanted to see, we could have headed to the Jade Gate. Why did we come all the way here? Yes, sir. <laughs> Young man, 
Have you ever heard of Bai Hung, the Foxian pilot? Bai Hung? Huh. I think I've seen that name somewhere. Don't before. you dare tell me Bai Lu is actually Bai Hung. Don't. 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 Do not. Do not. The name is unfamiliar to you and it loses no feelings. However, a voice unexpectedly rings in your ears. Let the noble High Elder drown the enemies in rain. We just need a watch from the sky, I presume? <laughs> if she has a voice, she's a character in the game. If memories are returning to you, share them. Hey, shit, I don't know, bro. Lamau. I can't remember anything. But you've learned how to lie. Shit, bro. Well, that's all in the past now. The reason we came to Stargazer Navalia is because I wanted to pay tribute to her here. Huh? You mean the Foxy and Soul Soothing Ceremony? Yes. The sending off of a star skiff. Stop lying to it her? But it's funny. The voyage of the deceased into the stars. Due to circumstances Spreading misinformation is kind of in control. right now, guys. It's kind of in. I never had the chance to bid farewell to her. It is something I have regretted to this day. As for procuring a star skiff, I know they can be manufactured here. I know nothing of the process. So you take a boat and then you put wings on see. it. Follow me. And that's pretty much that pretty much sums uh, it all up. To I be don't honest. know anything about manufacturing star skips either. But getting these machines to work shouldn't be too hard. Careful. There's still Stellaron spirits lurking around. Hey, good let them. <laughs> no need to worry about the two of us. <laughs> yeah, let them, bro. Let them walk. Let's see what they do, bro. Let's we see what they do. All ship production in Stargazer Navalia starts here. Okay. Just enter the command into the device. The vessel used to cultivate star skips. Maybe I'm crazy, but I can't wait to get the f off the Janjo Lofu. I want to go to Penacony so now. bad. I've seen Bai Hung's name in books before. Like, yeah, I'm ready to get the f out of here. I couldn't tell. Hey. I don't read much, but the general forced me to finish a bunch of ancient volumes during my training. I remember one called Views of the Universe from a Star Skiff. The author's name was Bai Hung. Yes, sir! That's right. Bai Hung was the one who wrote that travelogue. It was actually really interesting. 90% of it was about Star Skiff crashes on different worlds and dangerous situations. It also had records of local species and ecosystems. I think it's the music. I don't like the music on Janjo Lofu. I much prefer it on Bellabog. How could an ace pilot crash land her star skiff so many times? Then I realized that every time, she made the best of the situation and got back alive. Ah, her luck really was out of this world. Indeed. Her luck always astonished us. Whenever she piloted a mission... You could almost guarantee a narrow escape from the jaws of some abundance behemoth or a miraculous return from behind enemy lines. Very few star skiffs she piloted were able to return to port in one piece. The folks at the Skyfaring Commission secretly referred to her as the Star Skiff Killer. Cool. She also possessed an uncanny ability to predict future events. Wait, Black Swan? Inauspicious ones, at least. Every ill omen that oh, came out of her mouth would sure enough come true. Very few Cloud Knights had the courage to accompany her on missions. Who is... Oh, no, Bai Hung. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. When it came to surviving, her fortunes were incredible. Even in the worst situations imaginable, she was always able to turn the tide. Black Swan is so ugly. Mods Luck banned that guy. Is a type of strength, after all. I hope that this ship, built for the Star Skiff Killer, will also be able to return to the stars. Ha! That'll do it. The Star Skiff assembly line has been activated. 
Okay. The star skiff will take shape and enter the skyport. Let's go wait for it there. It won't be long. What do we get to fight? The star skiff is complete. After being away from the Lafu for so long, I can finally say farewell to you. Damn, bro. So, what happened to Bai Hong in the end? In the end, I do not think the details are necessary. We uh, are here I think she blew up. Her. In Bibiter Lune. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she just blew up. Remember the battle against Shu Hu? Who? Uh, no, I can't remember. I can't remember shit, bro. I can't remember anything. Bro, what about dementia? Let Do you not get? Refresh your memory. During that battle, Bai Hung, being the headstrong girl that she was, managed to exhaust the luck that was bestowed upon her by the Rainbow Arbiter. She's like she bullying, ahead, bullying a person with Alzheimer's, bro. <laughs> Do you remember this? Do you remember that? Do you remember this? Do you remember that? No, bitch! To break through Shu Hu's My brain doesn't work! ...and awaken you from your dragon's delirium. She was not able to walk out of that fight. We all shoulder a debt that we will never be able to repay. Oh my god. For the Cloud Knights, giving up one's life on the battlefield is an honor. But that wasn't something you believed in, in Bibiter Lune. Instead of leaving her to eternal rest, you decided to... <laughs> you made a mistake that can never be undone. Oh well, it's just a little whoopsie. <sighs> oh well, I mean, not my fault. I'm just a silly little guy. There is no need to respond in Bibiter Lune. I was just being silly. Your answer is no longer important. And now, I will send off this star skiff. Damn, bro. Everybody dying, bro. The quest lately have been depressing. Cutscene? By Hung, I've brought your flag in. This was a gift handmade by him. Though he never got the chance to give it to you in person. I'm sorry it took so long for me to find it. Only by bringing it to you will my nightmares be calmed. I will fulfill what you asked of me. I will keep my word. Even if it requires me to cut down the stars in the sky. Jesus Christ, bro. Uh, sure, have lag, bro. You cannot do that. Can't she? She can't do that, right? How the f would she do that? Let's go. The artisanship commission is next. I will admit, with how slow Jing Liu speaks, she is waffling a little bit. Like people hate my ass for stalling. They are not gonna like the way she speaks either. Like, bro is waffling hard. Wait, is this, is this new? Since the Arbor's resurrection, the land has been or do I have dementia? with abominations. I haven't been here so long, it feels new. Even the Artisanship Commission's prized creation furnace is hanging on by a thread. The crisis happened too suddenly. All the craftsmen and apprentices fled. Only a single master craftsman was left to hold the line. Until reinforcements arrived. That's how the creation furnace was saved. Oh my god. Interesting. Stubborn beyond valuing his own life. <laughs> that reminds me of an extremely arrogant acquaintance. If he were to see the chaos of the artisanship commission today, he would burst into laughter at the Sienjo's incompetence. What's that supposed to mean? What's wrong with saving your own life and waiting for the Cloud Knights to arrive? 
Makes you a well bitch. Nights when danger was at the door. From what I heard, it was a group of outworlders that came to the rescue. That was me. <laughs> that was me. What can I say? I know. I am that great. To the Yao Ching's campaign, the Cloud Knights were spread thin. It was impossible to guard everywhere at once. For you, yeah. No way, are we. Why don't we continue our previous contest? Show me where Oh my god, I'm gonna have to beat to Yang Jing's so ass again. Have improved. Oh my god, we get to embarrass him to again? Work. You think I'm gonna grant endless requests for a criminal? Yep. You go on ahead this time. No. We'll meet up at the don't make me beat famous. his ass again. Oh Why no. Did you no. Away? It is of no importance. But you and I Oh, have I feel so bad for bro. I feel so you bad for bro. Oh labor. my god. Alright, well. Pop that. Pop bit. that. Yeah, I'll boost. I'll boost her. Why the f not? It's like Boom. Like you never Yes sir. In lunar flame. Bust it! Damn, y'all revived just to get bitched again. Anyways. Anyways. Let's go. What took you so long this time? That I literally zero cycle that. What are you on about? Don't get anxious and vibe it or lunate. Wait, did, does Yang Jing have a jump time. button or how the f he get up there that fast? Oh, he killed one team. They had to make sure they showed that. Right, let's go again, big man. Here we go. Oh, man. I hate how I have to do this to you. Oh, well. Do you know who crafted it for you? God, she talks so hot. She actually talks so hot. It is crazy. Eternal slip the dead return. All right, come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, no, all oh, feels bad. You chose the wrong enemy. Still defense shredded. Uh, it's time to bada bing, bada boom. All will be anyways. In lunar flame. Gotcha. You can continue to convince yourself that you are merely the reincarnation of Don Fung and have nothing to do with his sins. And you can keep insisting that you have forgotten everything. Yep. But you cannot run from combat, Don Hung. I know. Your spearmanship is identical to Inviter Lunae's. I know. Combat is like smelting. Purging the impurities with burning flames and exposing a person's true nature. I know. Those are the words of the one who made Cloud Piercer for you. <laughs> Do you remember? No. Out I of don't. all of us, you were the closest to him. It was strange, really. To see someone so arrogant get along with someone so She proud. is for real waffling? Bro, I know. <laughs> I know. But when I stall, everybody's angry. When she stalls, oh, we get to look at her boobs. The name of the person flutters the edge of your thoughts like a leaf in the wind. But it remains elusive I'd and unclear. leave this world in a blaze than live until the end of time. True. I will let all of the Sienjo know that a brief moment of my life is worth more than their long and meaningless lives. Hey, that's based as Ying <sighs> Xing. <laughs> you still remember his name. That's, what, that's how I feel. Like, I'm 30, right? But I've lived enough lives at 30 than most people will in their entire life. The majority of people who shit talk me are Immature preteens are going to spend the next 50 years of their life working at McDonald's, being depressed and playing Genshin Impact and jerking off to Hu Tao for the next 70 years. When in reality, I've lived so much already. Bro, you want to know, you want to know how I've lived so much? That's why I'm bald. Okay? 
That's why I'm bald. I'm like a Chinese monk. Okay, I, I've lived so many lives, my hair's already fallen out. Aren't you 74? I'm 29, mother... When he was but a child, he swore to take revenge on the abominations. That's what drove him to travel across the stars to the Sienjo to receive training. When I first met him, he wasn't even as tall as my sword. Damn, but he was boasting about mastering all the crafts of the Artisanship Commission by the time he was a hundred years old. <laughs> The little brat was no less arrogant than the High Elder. Yo, can we go At beat his first, ass real quick? I wasn't too fond of his defiant nature. Right, what's going on here, man? But when we met again, he was able to craft weapons that astonished the Master Craftsman. What the f*** is that emote? He even snatched the Artisanship Commission title of Furnace Master. That is the smallest emote I've ever seen. Unfortunately. The Alliance would never allow a short life species to run the Artisanship <laughs> Commission. He was only able to prove <laughs> his worth alongside us outcasts in the end. Yep. Are we fighting homeboy? Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Here we go. Why did everybody in Hawkeye Star Wars rest so like that? Get here first, did you? Shut up! I killed 18 naked cowboys. Your technique must have improved so much that I simply couldn't keep up with you. Nah, there's been no balance patches. He's been the same. Hmm. So, uh, are we here to commemorate your short life species friend? No, fight me. Eavesdropping is a bad habit. Besides, when did I ever say he was no longer in this world? What? <laughs> Even the cryo capsules wouldn't be able to extend the huh? life expectancy of a short life species for long. If he is still alive, he must be ancient. Wait, 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 wait. What is bro talking about? Yingxing is is still alive. Oh man, I really stopped. Of course he's still alive. On that? But he might be better off dead. Wait, what? Some people are born with unparalleled Wait, so who is Ying Zing? And exceptional intelligence. That was one of their that was one of their old homies, right? Oh, Blade? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I forgot. Lamau. As smart as he was. He made the foolish attempt to use the flesh of the Abundance Emanator stupid. to aid in Bibiter Lune in stupid, stupid, his stupid. deceased companion. Stupid. His stupidity turned yep. him into a monster. That's right. Cursed with immortality. His soul was shattered and Damn. became the evil that he hated most. Damn, bro. The irony. Damn, Baldy. Ugh, for an old friend, you don't seem to have that much pity. Damn, bro. I gave him a second chance. Does that not count? No. How'd you give him a second chance? What did you do to him? He should have been eternally jailed in the shackling prison for his crimes. But I gave him a different kind of freedom. What do you mean by that, you sussy baka? I took the shell that once held his soul and passed my sword techniques on to him. Uh -uh. I let him die a hundred deaths to remind him of the karma of his previous life. Good God! Afterward, I heard he was reborn and even gave himself a name. We've idled too long. Yeah, did Jing Liu kill Blade like a billion times? Oh, so let me say that. A gorillion. Ten gorillion. He wanted to die? Yeah, damn, bro. That's rough. That is actually brutal. As a follower of the Rainbow Arbiter, you have witnessed the catastrophe brought upon by the plague's author, General. Yep. Living beings turning into undying monsters, eventually used as sacrifices to the abundance. 
What do you think should be done to put an end to it, General? I love the tension of this. The Alliance follows the <clears throat> Rainbow Arbiter's edict yep. to continue ridding the world of evil so that one day Yao Shur might be vanquished and the cycle of life and death restored. Okay, Nasus. Under the Wither. auspices of the Rainbow Arbiter, the faithful Cloud Knights continue the hunt. Their devotion and sacrifices are indeed commendable. But their devotedness we're, has made we're, them close We're thinking Luoch is a good guy, right? Take me, for example. My He's got to be a good guy. From the abundance, yet my goals are aligned with the Alliance. The he's sus? No, he's, he's got to be a good dude. Yeah, I don't think he's a sussy baka. It is natural for short-life species to yearn for immortality. That is expected of any intelligent life form. To want to eliminate these thoughts would be equivalent to killing an eon. Such a goal is so impossible as to be laughable, to be honest. So, in order to sever Yaoshir's curse, one must look to the source for a different solution. Like what? Your master happened upon a revelation and returned from the Mara. Yep. She has traveled many worlds and discovered a solution. So Jing Liu was in Luoch's coffin <sighs> one million percent. I'm listening. Right? I apologize, General. I'm afraid the next move will have to be made no? on the Shu Lin. <laughs> As I expected. Your surrender is just the Wait, next so Luoja can clear Mara? You wish to avail yourself of the Ten Lords' decree to enter Shu Ling and stand before the six generals, even the marshal. That is your true agenda. And the purpose no? of the contents really? of your coffin. How am I getting everything? Wait, the contents of your coffin? Open up. You said it yourself. This is beyond your control. It is the law of the Alliance. We cannot deviate from it. Open up, big guy. <laughs> Splendid. Well done. This was a spectacular move. Open it up. You've changed, Jing Yuan. Oh, yeah. This guy follows me on Twitter now, by the way. The man I knew would never have admitted he was bested. Everybody on the screen follows me on Twitter. I got a DM from Blade's voice actor last night. It was sick. Open up that coffin, boy. Why? No, don't you dare tell me Bai Hung is Bai Lu. Stop! I heard the healer lady is capable of curing all diseases. I'm here for the same reason anyone would be. For a checkup and consultation. Patience, young man. We're not far from Scale Gorge Waterscape. The mission the general tasked you with is about to come to This an hurts end. my brain. There's no way, bro. There's just simply no way. Hey, yo, what up, small child? <gasps> Dan Hung, what a surprise! Uh, are you not feeling well? Please come this way. Okay. Uh, Miss Bailu, she's here for a consultation. Oh, I see. Are you here for your eyes, or is it something else? My eyes are fine. I cover them to avoid seeing that which reminds me of the past and riles my inner demons. Okay, bro, relax, my Edgelord. My thoughts have been disordered lately, and I experience occasional night terrors. Do you have a way to soothe my mind, Dragon Lady? Oh, those symptoms don't sound like my area of expertise. Could you heal my brain? Bah, who cares? The healers of the Alchemy Commission don't get to pick and choose their patients. Give me your hand. 
We'll start by checking your pulse. You'll need to take some translucent worms so I can take a closer look. Eat some worms today. I can check your brain. I'll fix it. Oh, you, your hand. It's freezing. Uh, well, most women have an I iron deficiency. So she's probably anemic. Can I speak to you for a minute? I suppose so, little child. Uh, your friend here has a very peculiar condition. Her pulse is extremely faint. Normally, this would mean that... That she's dead! She won't live much longer. She won't live much longer. Wait, is homegirl about to die? Let the healer make the professional diagnosis. Say the same thing. Uh, your friend's situation is unique. She looks healthy, but her hands are cold as ice. It feels like there's a dark current running and pulsing between her core essay and her veins. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. With more research, I might be able to make a new entry in the medical records. Can you and your friend come back for follow-up visits? Just, uh, heat her up with the- oh, uh, I will- Oh, I can't help her. Oh, man. Okay. So I have to get rid of her. I can't help her at all. Okay. Uh... I will decline respectfully. Today's her last day on the Law Fu. Ah, what a shame. She gonna she die. Stay for a few days, I might be able to figure out how to cure her. Ah, I'll do my best. No matter what I administer, she's gonna need to drink a ton of warm water from this point on. Come with me. I'll prescribe her some soul returning vitality infusion. It won't cure her, but I'll... Wait! Where did my big medicine box go? Did she steal the shit? I'm sorry. Ever since the disciples of Sanctus Medicus were expelled, things have been a mess around here. Tan Hung, you mind coming with me to retrieve my medicine? I could use your skills. Are you in trouble, Dragon Lady? I'll come along as well. Bro, no, 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 no. why is Yang Jing with no us, bro? Trouble at all. <laughs> bro, that could have been Jing Yuan or Blade or Kafka. It's no bother. Me, bro. A little walk will do me good. Alright. Ah. Oh my god, bro. Take off the blindfold. The moon shines on the truth. That is so cool. The moon shines on the truth. Mm. Holy what a line. Smell the herbs. It's a hey! Give me back my medicine! <gasps> this thing runs so fast! Hey, get back here! Get away. Oh, if I had a bibiter right now, bro. What the f Gohila? Uh, uh, there is an even bigger monster protecting this one! That's alright, bro. I'll beat the shit out of it. Uh, when did so many creatures start visiting the Alchemy Commission? Uh 1.4. <laughs> Careful. Me to eliminate these obstacles, Dragon Lady. On it. Stand back. The chill of my sword freezes everything in its path. Yep. Here we go. Enemy data secure net marker. Nice bump, big dog. You better better show you why they should nerf this character immediately. Ice Bob, you chose the wrong strip. Get her. Here we go, boys. Bob, 6k, big damn. No reaction. Zap, zap, restrip. Halo is not balanced. Watch this, shit, baby. Rivers, it's over. It's over, boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No reaction. 
eternal slip. Grab him. No reaction. Save it for your own Repay. sake. For heal. Commencing support. Strip again, baby. I'll see you off. Grab him. This battle is unlend me. Buff him. Nowhere to run. It's over. All will be revealed. Yes, sir. In lunar flame. What a f character. All right. Let me make sure nothing's yep. missing. Excellent. The calming Valerian Yo. and cheese strengthening infusions are here. Let's head back. Never make a patient wait too long. Here we go. Worst Jing Liu NA? Apology Guys, I already beat Memory of Chaos 10 with Jing Liu. I, I don't need her any better. You, but it will nourish your body and calm your mind. Yep. Very well. The fate of a long life species is inevitable. Even with the best doctors. Is she gonna die? You're Mara struck? Tomorrow? I don't see the symptoms in you at all. What with the incident on the Law Fu, I've treated a number of Mara stricken patients recently. They all presented with signs of incoherence, delirium, or frightening physical mutations. You don't seem to have any of that. Wait, what is this? Chat, did he spend the Star Rail passes for Light Cone? How is he this lucky? <laughs> I know. I know. I made a deal that allowed me to retain what life I had left in me. Yep. I may be sane, but one thing is certain. My mind is already at its limit. Oh, wait. Oh, so she's like and that yet, bad. I still have many unfulfilled wishes and plenty of unfinished business. I see. What so the f live with your illness i can't help much with issues of the spirit but the medical records do mention that calming the mind is a way to so she's body. like really f if you're able to forget about the past there might be a chance for your symptoms to regress really how unfortunate okay. my hatred overshadows my other emotions so how old are we thinking jing Liu is to hold on to it to embrace it and to use it to maintain my existence. All I have left are the sword in my hand and my hatred of the past. She's just a bitter old woman, if huh? I am without either of them. I would fall into an empty void. Thank you for your advice, Dragon Lady. Your slice her in half. Meeting you has That's how we resurrect by heart. Than any kind of medicine or remedy. By the way, among those you've treated in recent days, did you notice a person in bandages? Baldy? Bandages? That's a vague description, you know. I'm not sure. We get injured patients from all over the Xianzhou for treatment. And the number of injuries we see has skyrocketed since the Ambrosia Arbor crisis. The person I'm in. Dude, I want to hear Jing Liu and Kafka's voice actor talk in the same uh, cutscene. Expression. Holy f that'd be so he hot. Also carries a crude sword with him at all times. Have you seen someone like that, Dragon Lady? Yo, Jing Liu gonna go kill his ass for the ten millionth time. Just for fun. Oh. Came by today that matches that description. Blade's body's like a fidget spinner door. Must have <laughs> just cuts cuts his head off over and over and over again. He had a strong just just to cure the blood. ADHD. Though from the way he behaved, it must have been fairly minor. He didn't even take the medicine I prescribed. Hmm. He's probably looking for a different kind of medicine. Cut him in half. Well then. It would seem that everything is in place. Let's go meet our old friend. Baldy and Jing Liu? Oh, yeah! Oh, shit, we back? Okay, what's going on? Oh, my God. Yo. Hey, man. 
take this man away. This does not involve him. Hey, see you, brother. Yang Ching. There he goes. Oh, thank God, Yang Ching's gone. Okay. And so everyone is present. I never thought the High Cloud Quintet. The would boys be are back again in the same place. The boys are back. Hundreds of years. Wait, this cutscene is gonna go crazy. You know what? If never mind. I'm gonna not say what I was thinking. Correctly, the five of us made a promise here seven centuries ago. Out of us five, three must pay the price. No matter what happened, we would gather here together and yep. share a drink. How sad that Scale Gorge Waterscape remains empty while the world continues to turn. Some of us have been reborn, while others were denied death. Yep. Some have become criminals, while others can no longer fulfill their promises. And in the end, our friendship is no more. Soon, I will be shackled and tried. This will be the last you see of me. Yeah. This is why I sent out the invitations before departing, hoping that everyone would be gathered here for my final farewell. Of five people, three must pay a price. She's gonna In herself? Lune, the chief culprit chose to use the transmutation arcanum as a means of resurrection begetting terrible transformation and great calamity in the process he dishonored the name of the fallen ying sing the accomplice arrogant and oblivious used the flesh of the abundance emanator to assist in Bibiter Lune in his evil. He fell, becoming an immortal abomination. As for Jing Liu, the sinner, she succumbed to Mara, slaughtered her people, and abandoned her oath. What is about now to happen? It is time we pay. For what we have what is about to happen? Don Hung, you can never escape the shadow of Invibitor Lune. He is your origin, and his sins will accompany you in your path forward until you meet your eventual doom. Blade, what a fitting name. In the remainder of your infinite life, you will experience only murder and your own death. All the while pleading for a place to rest. Jesus this Christ! Is the only way you are able to relinquish Ying Sing's regrets. Holy shit! And I will face the punishment of the Alliance and suffer an eternal punishment before paying an even worse price. That is the only way to keep the memory of the pain of the past from fading away. High Cloud Quintet, it is time to say goodbye. What am I about to do, bro? It sounds like she wants to, like, herself. What? What is blood wobbling about? Yo, boy, what do you think about this? Damn, bro, won't even talk? Jesus Christ, we're gonna get Kafka? That way she makes you bark like a dog, bro? You think you big? I've seen the shit that chick makes you do. Acting like you hard. Okay, bro. All right, whatever you say, big man. A wineless gathering. Accompanied by only sadness and bitterness. Damn, but making it sound depressing, bro. What a depressing reunion. Jing Yuan, 
Is it not time? It's uh, Jingmin, actually. It's Jingmin. The, the laws of the Alliance cannot be subject to change. Unfortunately, your next stop will be the Yuchu. Oh, not the Yuku. I reported everything to the Marshal, and the Seer strategist just so happened to take an interest in the case. They set up a Decalite reflection barrier in hopes of meeting the two of you beforehand. Jing Yuan, you haven't changed at all. Always trying to destroy the plans of others. But in the end, whether it be you, me, the Cloud Knight... Hey guys, I'll say it. Jing Liu is great, but holy f... Are She's yapping. We are all just pawns in a game of the gods. I am sick and tired of treading on a predetermined path. No matter, I will wah, do wah, to wah, you wah, insist, wah, 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 wah. this does not change how things will end. Ultimately, I will stand on the side of victory. Then I shall see this gamble through. Oh, that's it. Wait. Jing Liu, before you... They don't descend you! You still owe me my due. Yeah, well, what do you mean by that? I have tried. Yeah, give him a kiss. Besides inflicting more wounds on your body, there is nothing else I can Kill me again, you. my queen. Kill me, kill me. The immortality that you possess is not something that can be dealt with so easily. I am sure Destiny's slave already told you that the swords of mortals are incapable of killing someone with the flesh of an emanator. I could kill him. I could take him. But you still owe me the attempt. I, I can kill him. It'd be easy. I told you when I taught you the way of the sword. I am uninterested in drawing my blade against someone who does not long for life. Who wants only to be slaughtered. Slaughtered. You will only draw against an opponent. Hit her. Hit her and strike her down you again. Allow me to repay you for your teachings. Oh, yeah. Savor the moment. I will deliver you a brief moment of death. Oh, shit, it's about to happen. Oh, yes. 700 years ago. Oh, my God. Laughing. Oh, he's so cool. Oh, he's so cool. Oh, my God. This is so cool! I thought those joyful days would flow indefinitely. Holy shit! Like a Sienjo lifetime. Hey, bro, bro, you just buffed her. You should not have done that. Will eventually fade. Oh, bro, she is beautiful. Oh, my God. There she is. Holy shit! Bro blew up! Bro straight up blew up! I've returned to my first sword lesson. That is so sick. You used the sword in sing crafted. Oh my god. You pierced, sliced, and impaled me time and time again. The sword play used to slay our enemies of old is still engraved on this despicable shell. Oh my god. All I can do is watch my flesh become severed, healed, and restored. Oh, that must be so frustrating. It's as if they're saying, Why? Why did you and Imbibitor Lune commit such an unforgivable sin? Jesus. I know that you have no interest in my answer. Bro has probably been killed thousands of times. Which is why I asked the question as you looked me straight in the eye. 
I've asked myself that same question infinite times, but was never able to find the answer. Damn, bro. Why? Why is it that oh only Oh my god, that photo is so cute. Time and time again. Oh, bro, bring Bai Hung back, bro, Why please. Does like her have to be buried, burned to ash, and eventually forgotten? Dude, Bai Hung is so beautiful. Why? Why do all fox In girls die, end, bro? You unleashed the final piercing blow and left both me and the sword. Damn. In the withered grave. Damn, damn, damn. The miraculous damn. thing is that in my brief moment of death, all the pain went away. Yo, Luocha, pull Bai Hung out of your coffin. Like when we drink to drown. Oh, I'm getting salt. the cramps. Oh, f Oh, no, we're good. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, guys, I'm getting old. Damn, man, I'm dead. Hey, yo, welcome back, bro. You like that? Watch me pour wax on your nipples next. Damn, damn, damn. That was lit. Oh, Jimmy Kimmel, I can't talk to him. Oh, damn. Damn, 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 yo. In Bibiter Lune, what do you plan on doing next? Hey, shit, I don't know. I'm gonna go say hi to Pom Pom. Once this gathering ends, I will return to the Express to continue my journey. I heard it was a new event with my favorite little wabbit. To carry you forever. Your friends all have burdens of their own. Yep. Just as we did back then. I did think about giving up on revenge and letting go of everything when I fled the Lawfu years ago. However, as time passed, it became more and more clear. It was like an old friend that accompanied me every passing day, always nagging in my ear. The memories of what I did when I was Mara struck are deeply rooted. Since I am unable to rid myself of them, I decided to face them head on in the end. Maybe when I Jesus Christ, the Grandma, quit yapping. The abundance. Get on with it, man. Just do the temple already. Ying Sing will find true release. Goodbye, in Bibiter Lune. She blows up. Oh, I get to say bye to everybody, Pog. Yo, what up, Jimmy Kimmel? <sighs> She's gone. Yep. All this must have seemed like a silly performance to someone newly reborn. <laughs> but I am unable to prevent my old friends from taking sides against one another. Damn. Who you are is a question that only you can find the answer to. Even if the Preceptor's interference denied you a true rebirth. Yes. It has been a long day for you, Don Hung. Why is Hong Kai Star Wars getting so sad, bro? I thought this shit was supposed to be a comedy. Don Hung, the general wants me to forget about everything I saw today. I understand. These disputes are far too complicated for me right now. Sword play is a lot simpler. I have some close friends of my own in the Cloud Knights. Will we fall out the way you guys did? Goodbye for now, Dunhung. I hope the next time we meet, it'll be under happier circumstances. I mean, I have to imagine with Topaz, 
It's gotta be fun, right? This this shit was depressing. Like this shit was mad depressing, bro. I mean, the cutscene was lit, but for me, bro, I could use some jokes. You know what I'm saying? She couldn't do it with her sword either. She still couldn't do it. We have no choice but to continue the pursuit. This is the price the two of us must pay. Neither of us can end the other's life. Just give up. Elio's script still requires you to stay alive. For now. What the f do you mean by I that? I don't mind prolonging my vengeance. It might be more interesting that way. The cat? The f cat? Is everything okay down home? Techie and I heard you received an anonymous letter and we were worried, so we came here to check on you, but I, you weren't in the archives. Yeah, I'm chilling. Did that poker face Stellar on Hunter Blade give you any trouble again? That's a relief. By the way, don't forget to head back to the Express early. Himiko said she made coffee for us. Jesus Christ, does she have antidepressants too? Jesus, bro. I mean, good, good. God. That was... Well, I guess back to the happy music. Dude. I would say, all in all, I would probably give that quest probably a 6 out of 10. It had a lot of important lore, but uh, let me tell you, it was, uh, it was a lot of yapping. The cutscene was sick. The cutscene was sick. The cutscene was amazing. Uh, but it definitely was a lot of happen 100 but it was important but for me i'm not saying for everybody but for me my enjoyment was about a six to ten i still actually enjoyed it because there was a lot of weight to everything but uh it was just a lot heavier than what i was ready to deal with right now and uh, i played the honkai star over the comedy and that was some depressing ass shit but it was cool i enjoyed it i was hoping there'd be a little bit more action and i was really hoping jingleo would meet kafka and i am confused so is jingleo dead or is she just going to jail now? I feel like people who always forget 5 out of 10 is middle of the pack. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She's in jail? Okay, so we'll see her again. Uh, we'll, we'll see her again very soon. We'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll see her again very soon. But it was good. Remember, 5 out of 10 is average. 6 out of 10 was still above average. Uh, I'm just not one of these pussies who says, Oh, 7 of 10 is average. No, 5 of 10 is average. 6 of 10 is still above average. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. But yeah, just a little bit less yapping. A little bit more showing would have been better. And they did that in the latter half. But it was it was pretty slow. But it is what it is.